Hello and welcome to your daily dose of MLO does something weird again. So after my Z uh, RAM video, been getting a few comments around the internet about looking into Z swap. Now let me uh, do a little bit of reading from the wiki because we like reading from wiki. Year 3434 of the Second Age, here follows the account of Sildon, High King of Gondor, and the finding of the Ring of... Right, so, Z-Swap's a kernel feature that provides a compressed RAM cache for swap memory pages. Pages that would otherwise typically be swapped out to hard drive and instead compressed and stored into a memory pool in RAM. So, what we're saying is, remember last time I figured out that um, when compiling, if you used um, ZRAM as a cache device, it worked a lot better for compiling. Um, I've also seen that on some low spec hardware, so the um, the lovely Cloudbook with its 2 gigabyte memory. I put a 256 memory uh, megabyte ZRAM partition on top of it, and I've actually noticed video playback's been a lot smoother in Firefox and it's doing that. Let's get back to this one. So the differences between Z, uh, Z swap and Z ram based swap. Sure, it overview. Z swap works in conjunction with a regular swap file, while Z ram based swaps does not require a backing swap device and may work standalone if no swap is on the hard drive. Yeah. Z swap is compressed swap cache in RAM and works as a type of proxy for regular swap. In this context is also called called backing swap devices. Z swap gets filled first. Victim pages from the compressed RAM on an LRU basis. An LRU is uh, least recently used. Right. Okay. So the stuff that's not being used goes to swap first. That sounds good. Z RAM based swap on the other hand works like regular swap and compressed in RAM without the opportunity to VIC pages so it gets filled up gradually until it's full. Right, okay, so this looks like it might be the best thing. You're simply the best, better than all the rest. So we've built about a bit longer than normal. Let's uh, do a queue lop. Yeah, so that did take it up by a few minutes. It was a little bit slower. I wonder if there's anything. Okay, let's try performance tweaks. So we're going to edit uh, grub now. Nano slash etc. Defaults grub. Right, we're going to first try setting a full size of 40% then we'll lower it down. Yep, that's all loaded. So yeah, let's reboot into this. Uh, ooh, what I'll also do is set up. I think that's right. Looks good to me. Right, let's reboot. And we'll do. I think I've got the Z RAM on there. So if I do a swap. Oh, off. Push dev. Z RAM. Perfect. So let's try this again.
So we've got this one built. Let's see if that did any different. Uh, it was Q lop. Uh, Q. Q lop. Just time at GCC. Uh, saved a minute. So I did some calculations and worked out that we're using about 1.6 gig of RAM compression with the 40% that was said before. Let's lower that down to 7%, which is about 256 what we used last time and see if that does anything different. So I'll edit the config manually. Yeah, I know, bad thing, a bad thing. We all know, do as I say, not as I do. So seven percent about two two sixty megabytes. A little bit more than we was using last time, but let's, let's give it a go. Right, it's reboot. Make sure that is set. Yep. Control X. Right, let's build this. Okay, so that's done. Let's see what the time difference is on this one then. Huh. Hmm. Ah. Those times with Z swaps don't seem to really be doing much. what have we learned today? Well, first of all, Imolo's wasted nearly four hours on compiling GCC and looking at config files and stuff like that. You wasted my time a little bit. And then uh, the results from using Z-Swap don't really seem that conclusive. I don't really... I'm not really sure on what we can do from this. It seems to be that using that small Z RAM cache works a little bit better. But maybe I'm doing something wrong here. I am just learning it myself. If anyone's got any ideas, please feel free to pop them in the comments and we'll, we'll come back to this in the second part because I'm quite interested and I feel like this could be a good one. But so far our results are Z swap isn't worth it. Anyway, hope you've learned something interesting from this one. I think I certainly did. And I'll catch you on the next one. Keep compiling, folks. So it's clear I have a gender addiction. If you want to help enable me and in exchange make interesting videos for you, why not consider being like these wonderful people and donating to me? Um, prices start at $1 and it helps me to do tasks such as these. Please consider um, clicking on the Patreon link to find out more. Cheers guys.